Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, if you want to see how to get this look, please keep watching the video. This is my autumn uh, go-to look for 2016. I've really been digging this look so much. Um, I don't even know what to say. I think I got in a lot of compliments on it as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, please keep watching. Thanks guys. As you all know, first we're going to start off by prepping our face with the MAC Prep and Prime Base for me here primer. Um, as I use as a, more as a moisturizer. If you watch my videos, you will hear me say that all the time. So you just slop this all over your face. And then while that sets on my face, I'm going to just uh, put a little oh so heavenly lip balm on my lip. After prepping my lip, I'm going to go in with my Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer, which has a very silicone-y feeling to it. Oh, it feels like feathers on your fingers and on your face. You dab a little out, you just squeeze a little out onto your finger, rub them together on my cheeks, all those problem areas where you feel like your pores are a bit bigger. Forehead just here, down the nose, sometimes the pores on the nose are quite large, and on the chin. After prepping our face, I'm going in with Garnier's um, BB Cream in the color Dark. Taking a damp beauty blender and then just damping everything, uh, tapping everything into the skin. Going on to brows, you know that I like to take old mascara and just brush my hairs through. Taking the Allure um, Brow Kit and just going in with the dark matte uh, shade just to fill in our eyebrows. And brows are on. In with a highlighting our brow bone. Let me just get the right blush. Take this angled shadow brush from Color uh, Shadow Brush 314, and we're just going to take our nude palette, nude palette from Allego, and take the lightest. Ooh, take the lightest shade, the first shade. Just do. Highlight and clean under our brow bone. In color this one over here. Are we going to use this just to uh, in our creases for the um, transitional color? So that the transitional color is there so that you don't exceed that line. Uh, especially if you're going to use darker colors because an autumn look it will be a bit smoky, browny type of look. So this we're going to just use as our any pinky, even orangey type of color we just use in our crease for our transitional color. The lighting does change a bit. I'm sorry, excuse me for that, but I feel like it's not too bad. The view is not too bad, but the color change is quite annoying sometimes. But just bear with me. Camera's on its way. And you're going to place this all in your crease. Going in with the color 313 eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go in with this rose goldy brown brown shade. This one over here. 
And we're going to place this all in our crease. Gently. Backing off the excess. Holding at the end of the brush so that we don't put a lot of pressure onto um, the brush. So that we can start gently and then um, color it in a bit more as we go along. But first you hold it at the end of the, of the brush and you're going to just gently uh, place this in the crease. This one over here, and we're going to place that on our outer corners of our eyes as well, really getting it smoked up. Taking a clean, fluffy brush and just blending that crease line out a bit more. Actually, not a clean brush. Take the first brush that um, you used to for your transition color. Don't put anything on the brush. Just blend the top line out a bit. So the there you go. Next up, I'm taking a China, uh, oh, I got a request of asking where is Chinatown. The one that I go to, um, it's actually a China store. It's not really where I go to Chinatown, but there are a few in Cape Town. I know there's one in Paul. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the area, but I do know there's one in Paul, um, in Paro. There's one in Paro, like at the Sunlam Center, I'm not sure, or, or Paris Center, close nearby to Paris Center. It's like a huge building. And then you get one close to Canal Walk there at the back of Canal Walk. You know Canal Walk has all these big buildings that's kind of through there. And then you get this giant um, uh, building of Chinatown. That is Chinatown. But the ones that I go to are in malls. Uh, for example, I went to In One City and the Promenade. And they have um, a store called Bling. So that is where I get mine because I don't need a whole store unless I'm going to need um, decorations for a party. Then I'll go to the bigger stores. But for now, I just go to the cosmetic ones where they sell the earrings, sunglasses, handbags, jewelry, nail polish, rings, all of type of that type of things. So that is the one that I go to. But um, yes, you can. Uh, so I can't really say where the big ones are. I have been to the one in Canal Walk, but I can't direct you to it. But yeah, that, that, that is the one that I would go to if I need a bigger branch. But I usually just go to the in the mall stores, um, the China shops of Chinatown, which is called Bling. So try it out. So this palette I bought at Chinatown, I have no idea what is written here. Huana Wu. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea what's written here. It's a new attractive fashion color palette. Okay, um, it doesn't say the color name, but I know it's the color that we are going to use in this palette. It's a beautiful palette. Um, looks like that. And the color that I want to use, if I can just find my brush, is this orangey, orangey color. We're going to use this in our, on our lid. Now, if you turn to the side, if you actually, it has a little green to it, although you can't see it in the mirror, in the camera, but this orangey color, it really gives us like this clean, clean color. So we're going to place that all over our lid. 
and it's really pigmented. Taking the brush, um, the eyeshadow brush 313 from Color that we use for our outer corners, I'm just going to blend the lines together of this orangey, green, sparkly eyeshadow so that it's a bit blended in. And as you can see, there's a harsh line. We're going to take that away. Because we don't like no harsh lines. There you go, and now we are going to conceal our face. We are going to contour. No, 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 no. We are going to set. I'm going to use my powder brush of Real Techniques, a destranslucent powder. Now we're just going to look up, lightly tap it under there. Next up, we're moving on to contouring and highlighting. Taking my LA Gold Glam Palette, we are going to use the highlight, the contouring shade, this one, and we are going to contour our cheeks. In the palette. Uh, this one. The highlighter. Let's use my Kabuki brush. The brow pencil that we use and take the brow uh, kit and we are going to take the shade that we use for our brows and actually just line our under eyes with it as well. We're going to line our lips with MAC Soar. The barely there number six in the number six um, lipstick. Once your lip gloss is on. This look is complete. I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, if you tried it out, please post it on my Facebook page, Stellar Makeup South Africa. Uh, it appeared on the screen somewhere, it should. Um, and then you post it on there and show me that you have tried this look out. I feel like this is a great if you're going to go out for the evening or you just feel like getting dolled up and you're going to go have coffee with friends. You can even use this face. Uh, this is my awesome look for this uh, year, 2016. I hope you like it. And please give this video a thumbs up. And I will not say no if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for the support. I love you guys.
and I will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Mwah.